We don't need one or two, three guys to carry us. And tonight, that's what it looked like. So we need we need more balance. And for one reason or another, we didn't have it. I thought Devin was terrific off the bench defensively. I thought Dylan Cardwell was terrific off the bench defensively. And, and he was three for four. Played really well. So just need, need a couple other guys to, to continue to contribute. That's when we're at our best. All right, Coach, we're going to start with a question from Michael Gittens. Uh, Coach, you said earlier this season you guys were going to lose. And when you did, it, uh, it wasn't going to be because you were resting on your laurels. Uh, you guys had a monster rebounding night that really kept you in the game. Um, what, what could you guys have done tonight to get Jabari in the flow of the game a little earlier? Uh, and um, how do you guys figure out how to score? It seemed like missing Zip kind of hurt the flow of the offense. Um, well, yeah, you know, Jabari got – he got 16 shots. Um, and, um, you yeah, know, we got to do a better job of letting – getting him in some playmaking situations where his assist turnover ratios got a chance to be better. Um, uh, it was loud in here. It was tough to communicate. And I thought in the first half, we really never got on the same page. Um, you know, Alan Flanagan played – some point guard tonight. Um, and, um, you know, that was, uh, it's, it's a position that he played a son last year. Um, but um, that was, that was really tough. Um, and what I got to, what I, what I got to look at is I need Al to be a great wing. And by playing him at one and the wing, if that's too much, too much, because, these are starting, you know, three men. Right. You bias Wilborn? Uh, Bruce, two-parter here. Um, how much did you miss Zepp Jasper today? And you mentioned earlier in your preamble about the free throw disparity. It's been a problem for you guys throughout the year. It seemed to finally caught you. How do you correct it going forward? Well, you know, I, 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 I obviously I could have answered the last question. Because in the last question they brought Zepp up, um, but I think I'd rather I'd rather stay away from that and talk about this team. I appreciate you asking the questions. Um, mm -hmm. You know, Zepp is the best on-ball defender in the league, and um, he doesn't turn it over. We turned it over 19 times. We had you know, eight assists, 19 turnovers. So, kind of you know, it does sort of speak for itself. We'll go to Justin Hokinson. Hey, Bruce. Uh, KD, what was what, what was he feeling? Uh, struggled tonight. Was he still feeling anything from the Georgia game, or was it just not his not his night? I don't know. I'll talk to him. You know, I'll talk to him. But he's obviously one of our best players, and um, um, and so it uh, we get, we we definitely need KD at both ends of the floor to be successful. Mark Murphy. All right, we'll go right to Brian Matthews. Hi, Bruce. Uh, Kentucky now a game back. Arkansas two games back. Tennessee can be two games back with the win uh, tomorrow. This is going to be a heck of a race down over the last seven games, isn't it? Yep. A lot of good teams in our league. And um, there, you know, we knew we know we don't have much margin for error. Don't see Kentucky, don't see him losing much. So we know the position that we're in. We work really hard to put ourselves in this position. Thank Mark, you. you ready? Yes. Yeah, I wanted to ask about end of regulation. Uh, uh, did you want to just go with the flow there, or did you did want to set up a play or something late? We had we had a play set up. Um, Wendell could have gotten downhill um, with a ball screen, but instead he chose to pull. He makes it, we win. So he had, he had a play. He had an opportunity to use the ball screen and get downhill. Instead, he, he pulled. Goes in, we win. You guys, we got time for two more quick ones. We'll go to Steve Moulton first. 
Coach, uh, if you could comment on that, that atmosphere, you mentioned it right there, but also uh, the, the fact of uh, y- your team worthy enough of uh, the, the, the storm, uh, the court getting stormed at the end of really say more about your program and what you've built there at Auburn. Um, you know, I was proud to be, I was proud to be number one. Um, and, and gosh, we haven't, we haven't lost since sometime in November. Um, we understand the prize that's on our head. Um, it's very difficult on the road and, um, you know, congratulations to Arkansas. It's, it's just hard for me to believe that we're the first number one team to come in here since they've been in the SEC. So let's see, we worked really hard to put ourselves in that position. Um, but it was, uh. It was tough. I, you know, it, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was tough. Um, I mean, we had 30 field goals. You know, they had 23 field goals, which is, you know, you're on the road. All right, coach, you got one more from uh, Justin Ferguson. Bruce, you guys had that stretch in the first half where offensively not much was happening, but you went on the run right before halftime and continued it. Good offense the second half. What what do you think the key was to changing it up and 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 having more offensive success? I mean, we got a little bit, you know, we we look, we made a few shots. We were much more organized in the second half of the offense in front of our bench. Um, and we weren't uh, in the in the first half. And so um that's on me and my point guards to do a better job of getting us organized. And we talked about the fact that we had some advantages in half court, but we didn't, you know, we just didn't take advantage of them. So uh, give Arkansas credit for turning us over 19 times. And, and by the same token, we only turned them over 11 times. They scored 24 off turnovers. We only scored 10. Talking a little trash on the field? Yeah, we get it. Trashing the state with litter? That's terrible. Keep it clean. Keep Alabama beautiful.